talk about what we thought the future of the forum would be. And one of the, one of the real heroes of, of civil society work over the years on the ground in, in, in countries in Asia, as well as regionally in Migrant Forum in Asia, as well as internationally in things like the World Social Forum, the People's Global Action, and the Civil Society Days. Rex Verona, Rex Verona was the Civil Society Chair of that session on the future of the Forum. I was the rapporteur for Rex, and I remember a crowded room talking about what do we think of this new global forum and civil society in it, and what do we recommend for the future? The future in 2007, the future was 2008, 2009, already that's a long time ago. But what was the chief recommendation no, from the, the civil society participants in the room? The number one recommendation, I don't know if people who were there might remember, the number one recommendation Sifo, you were there. I don't know who else was there in that future of the forum, 2007. It was, we cannot just have these gatherings once a year at a global level. So, so you remember that and others. That was, two th that was 2007. Right away. This is maybe good. It's good to meet together. We got it. We have to build the international community. But we have to meet at a regional level at least, and then someone raised their hand and said, yeah, we also probably need to meet at national levels. We need to come together on these issues because they're tough. They're hard issues. And because even then, a lot of people around the table were saying, you know, we've got a lot to say to one another, and a lot of it's the same on substance, on message, on recommendations, on possibilities. And we know it's not just words. We know it's not just here. We know we have to bring it home. And so the number one recommendation was, we have to do this. We have to get together regionally. Not just this in the process of discussion, but we have to come together as civil society regionally. So that was 2007. In 2008, civil society space opened up to two days in the global forum, but there was still no real formal process of coming together re regionally. Now, Rex Verona, William Goss, so many folks, Ellen Sada, in, in the Migrant Forum in Asia constellation, did a lot of the work regionally, convening, you know, bringing people together, not just talking, but thinking and sharing and planning action and strategy. And in a few other places, a few other networks, the People's Global Action was meeting on occasion nationally and regionally. Uh, but trying to figure out how do we do this more sustainably? How do we do this more sustainably? So, 2009, 2010, we also started to see in this process, and so many people in those global forum meetings kept talking about another regional problem, and that was that even in the international conversations, there weren't enough civil society actors from some regions. Africa was, was continually underrepresented. Not enough organizations and actors from Africa for lots of reasons. Uh, not enough meeting in intra-Africa either. Central America, Latin America, South America, underrepresented in some of those years. And so the question was, if we're really trying to be a global movement and conversation of civil society, how do we, how do we come together more? And, and how do we, we put a, a regional power into this conversation, regional reality? And all along, and right to now, well, what's the principal question, perhaps, for civil society? In this process, People's Global Action, perhaps, and, and Civil Society Days as well, is there a before and an after? Do we, do we have enough possibility to do work before and after these events, or are we still too much captive? Not individual organizations, but as a unity, do we have enough possibility to act on what we say? Responsible ourselves. Our recommendations aren't just the governments. They're not just the governments. We're not that small-minded. 
And we're also determined to be part of the answer. We are in, we are the story. But is there enough before and after? So, not with any brilliance, huh? really. Although my colleague from ICMC Europe is in the back who put all her brilliance into this proposal. We saw in ICMC working with the International Advisory Committee this year, 33 of the leading organizations around the world, we saw the possibility of some funding from the European Union to go for strengthening civil society in some of these processes for deeper analysis our way, for more regular engagement across the regions and, and be before and after the Global Forum. So in 2011, uh, the very day of the Global Forum in Switzerland, and you all know this in your own organizations, you know, you have those deadlines that come on the worst possible day. And it's a deadline. You have to meet it or it's over. The deadline came for us to file a proposal to build some kind of program of regular work among civil society networks that already exist. Just a, a regular habit, a regular practice of meeting, regionally and thematically. This these projects looked specifically for regional organizing, specifically in Africa, in Asia, and Latin America, Caribbean. A little bit in Europe to connect the analysis and bring it into the European Commission, among others. So specific regional focuses in those three big regions. We wrote the proposal also to focus in thematic ways on labor migration, specifically now on recruitment, on global governance of migration, one of the hard questions that we all struggle with, but who, how do we think about that as civil society? And on diaspora and migrants in development. And so we call we put these this proposal in, and we actually put a second proposal into the European Commission for the same type of, of work with the broad network and we hoped the growing unity of, of civil society. Again, not to replace, but to resource, not to control, not to control, but to connect, to connect, to do this, to do this. The connecting that we talked about in the opening plenary, the movement and momentum in an effort at greater unity and depth. So that's what the, this MADE project is. That's what, it's a MADE, it's a verb, it's, it's, it's networking. Um, and it's meant to, to, to be, bring a before and after to the work we do. Now Colin Raja from the Global Coalition on Migration can talk about the value of, of regional work, but so can probably a hundred of you from the most recent experience before the high-level dialogue in New York, when there was something like 21 national and regional preparatory consultations of civil society to do some thinking and to do some planning and to do some converging towards what became uh, the, and, and what, uh, what became a very strong five-year eight-point plan, uh, a focus and a message of unity and determination and multi-year work together. And so Colin will talk about that in a minute. Yeah, where does the story go and where do we turn it over? And where do, where do you finally go for some food? It, we, we put the proposals into the European Commission, and we waited. We waited, and we waited, and we wound up on the waiting list on our proposal. We were not approved. Um, you, you see some of, some of the names of, of some of the groups up there, but it's, it's the Migrant Forum in Asia as a partner. It's the Scalabridian Network as a partner. It's Cordaid as a partner. It's the African Diaspora Policy Center as a partner. And, and I don't know if we have a list of the partners to put up. No, but existing networks, global networks, networks of advocates and practitioners on the ground in these movements, doing some of this work years and years of building unity, doing regional thematic focus, part of this project. But we sat on, and we thought we had a very strong application, but we were put on the waiting list. 
And it was only in December of, this, of 2013, after the high-level dialogue, that we got word that the proposals were approved. And that's what the MADE network is about. Regional work, thematic focus, an open building of, of the unity with existing networks uh, on these, these matters of migration and development well beyond the Global Forum on Migration and Development, connecting to the Global Forum, connecting to international processes, but connecting very much to whatever is happening at the regional level and whatever can happen because of this work together. And of course, connecting at the national level. Anything regional is national. We're national. That way we're, we touch down nationally and locally. So that's the main network. Um, I, I'll stop and turn it over, I think, to Colin, and then uh, we will close and we'll go for something together, a good drink together. Um, but the, the offer, the resource is there. It's co-owned. It's co-owned. That, that's, the, that's what's here. Again, not to replace anything. To join. And to join the movement to, as an offer for the movement built by the movement. So that's, uh, that's what it is. We're not trying to sell anything. We're trying to put it out. Do I sound like a salesperson? Ah! <laughs> Sorry. You know, I guess that's. I guess I'm inspired by that image of the mall this morning. <laughs> I'm this. <laughs> yeah. So, so that that's where we are um, now. We were a little bit surprised, and we, we got a message from the European Commission, who has funded this, um, who will be part of Common Space on on uh, Wednesday, I should say, in the panel that talks about the post 2015 development agenda. And so I'm not going to read the whole message, but I, I thought in particular on that issue on that very important issue. Uh, the piece of this, this message is especially important. This is what they say. They say, the UN high-level dialogue of October 2013 resulted in the adoption by unanimity of a declaration by the governments on migration and development, which recognizes that, quote, human mobility, this is a quote from the declaration of the high-level dialogue, Human mobility is a key factor for sustainable development which should adequately be considered in the elaboration of the post-2015 development agenda. It goes on. Maybe this is important to consider. The European Commission continues. The UN high-level dialogue also provided an occasion for a number of stakeholders to develop proposals for strengthening different aspects of migration governance. Here's, here's the line. In particular, civil society organizations proposed a five-year action plan for collaboration covering issues including the rights of migrants, labor mobility, partnerships, and development. Okay? It goes a, a step further. The Commission believes, this message says, that the important work done on the traditional topics of migration and development must be continued. However, we also wish to see a broader approach which pays greater attention to South-South migration and is based on, and here this is a direct quote, a more comprehensive understanding of the impact of migration on economic and social development. In this context, the MADE program, they say, will enable civil society organizations to come together to focus concretely on key thematic dynamics of migration and development. That's the message. But here's our message. And here's the last words I'll offer. This is made. This is made by civil society. It's what we make of it. So Colin Raja, one of the guys who makes things happen in the movement. <laughs>